Hello friends! We're excited to be bringing you something a little special today, and that's the Pillow Fort featured Top 20 Games of December. Now, we want to immediately say that if your game did not make this list, then please know that it's nothing personal. We choose to feature certain games based on our own preferences in genres, themes, and community needs. Believe it or not, only a few of the games we choose to feature every month are ones we're personally interested in. But we have a community thriving with different individuals that love different things, so we choose our featured games based on what we think they'd want to see and play as well. I'll also state that we're featuring a total of 35 games for the month of December, and the full list of games can be found in the description of this video. For obvious reasons, it would take me way too long to feature every single game, but please check out the others as they truly are worth giving a look and at least adding to your wish list if you enjoy their specific genres. Lastly, this list is in no particular order. I opened up the games I wanted to feature in my Chrome browser and I put them in whatever order Chrome did. And it wasn't even alphabetical, so I know I'm a monster. Regardless, the video is chaptered, so you can easily use the timeline to browse through it and find what you need. And yes, I did add the genre to them, so you're welcome. With all the fluff and stuff out of the way, let's get started. Square Enix fans will rejoice at the first game we're featuring as they're releasing Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince this month. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the style of animation or game myself, I know plenty that are. This one seems to mix those old Zelda vibes with Kingdom Hearts style graphics, so it's set to give you a heavy dose of nostalgia, which is perfect for the holiday season. You'll have to tell me how this one is though, as it's unlikely that we'll be covering it. The next game on our list is Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I myself used to be obsessed with the original Avatar movie, and while I have yet to see the second, the idea of playing in the Avatar world is thrilling. I have to play devil's advocate though and say most movie adaptation games have gone horribly wrong recently, so we'll be keeping our eyes on this one to see how it does. Regardless, flying on an Ekron has been a dream of mine since the movie came out, so if it turns out to be a good one, you just might see some coverage from us on it. If you're a fan of games from other cultures and you have a VR kit, then check out Tales of Oswang. It explores the myths and epic creatures of the Filipino oral tradition and has been compiled from books and stories that have been passed on through their generations of storytelling. I had to feature this one as anything that celebrates unique cultures and traditions are just so interesting to me. And even if we might not be covering this one, it deserves a feature. We're featuring a second VR game this month, and this time it's Lo-Fi Katana. Think Beat Saber, only you have a beautiful fan and katana to dance with instead. I know far too many people in our community that enjoy these lo-fi vibes, so we figured this one deserved a spot on the list. This one is for the cozy community that wants to take a heartfelt adventure this month. A Highland Song is the tale of a girl that runs away through the Scottish Highlands. The trailer alone has me appreciating the soundtrack and landscapes of this game, and as someone who adores story-rich, music-driven titles, this one's one I'm looking forward to. If I'm able, I'll do my best to cover it, so tell me in the comments if that interests you and I'll see what we can do. Okay, so if you know Ducky on a personal level, you know he's a pretty dang good chess player. Whenever he has a few spare minutes, he loads up chess.com and plays a few puzzles or blitz games. And when he has more time to spare, he's teaching our sons how to play. Chessarama seems so silly and fun that I couldn't help but feature it. I think a few chess fans will get a good kick out of it, so if that's you, then check this one out. Out of all the games on our list, there were only a few being featured by larger networks, and SteamWorld Build was among those games. It's not without good reason, as it seems to be a promising base-building management game from the makers of The Station. It has a ton of personality in it with some complex features, so if you're a fan of this genre, this is one to add to your wishlist. Oh, and it's coming day one to Xbox Game Pass, so there's that. I've admittedly been way too into murder mysteries lately, and it's probably why I wanted to feature Quiet On Set, but if you're looking for a nice little indie murder mystery to play for this month, then check this one out. 
It seems mostly PG too, so it should fit our casual genre lovers quite well. In the description, it states that you can become a victim yourself, so the stakes are high on this one though. Maybe you've realized by now, but I'm quite into the story-rich, emotional genre. Any game that makes my heart bleed just a bit somehow finds its way onto my lists. Something about bringing the human heart into a game just tears me open. Anyways, this one is no different as it's about an elderly writer diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. It does have the label dark, and due to the nature of the topic, more sensitive individuals should likely avoid. But if you want to experience something deep this month, this is one to go check out. Some might not be into the pixel, and more specifically, RPG genre, but if you are, Wally Iron's Hot offers some above average animations, an intriguing story, and that retro feel that some of us have come to love. I'm literally drowning in indie games every month, but just the simple flourishes to the art and animations in this one is what earned it its feature. So often we get reused assets and half-baked animations, but it's clear that the dev was careful to offer us pixels, but polished. I might even give this one a try if the opportunity arises, so we'll keep you updated on it. I've cleverly placed this right after the previous game because it's another pixel RPG adventure that deserves a feature. From the intriguing square map style to the polished animations, it earned its place by delivering that retro pixel feel, yet the care of good art and storytelling. This one's about a hunter in Feyland, so an added bonus if you love magical creatures. The next game we're featuring is a big ball of timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. And you get bonus points if you understand the reference, but no, really. Divergence is all about rewinding time and diverging from your previous paths to keep the ancient guardians at bay and discover the secret of the titans. I love this topic, literally everything about it. So if I get so lucky, I'll do my best to bring you love some content for it. But until then, let's just relish at the idea. Considering one of Ducky's most adored genres is roguelikes, I had to find one or two to feature, and Laboratory X29 is one of them. It's got all the features you know and love in roguelikes, hordes of enemies, awesome upgrades, music to keep you pumped, big bosses to take on, you get the point. If you're looking for a roguelike to scratch that itch this month, then consider giving it a look. Have you ever looked at all the projects that you have to do around your house and thought, nah, I'll do those later. And so you go sit down at your computer to relax and load up House Slipper 2. And instead of doing all the things around your house, you do them in a game. Yeah, us too. Don't worry, that's normal. And it's why we hope House Slipper 2 will be one we're so lucky enough to cover because boy, is it addicting to renovate houses when you're not actually doing any of the physical labor. Now, some might not be into the visual novel or rhythm genres, but if you like both, you're in for a good month with cat leather jackets. This Guitar Hero-esque indie game with great music follows the story of a teenage punk rock band. So if you want to write, rehearse, and perform songs all while following their story, then go check this one out for sure. So this one earned a feature solely because my brother has been a massive 40K lover for my entire life. Not featuring it just feels kind of wrong. Regardless, Warhammer Rogue Trader looks like a promising RPG with some awesome story elements and is developed by the same makers of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, so it's a proven team handling this one. If you're like my brother and adore all things Warhammer, then check this one out. Okay. I understand that this one isn't really a game, but I needed to feature it as it's a free to play utility for life. You can put on your cozy playlist, set a timer and have some epic ambiance next to you to help focus. I will probably use this for myself. And if I'm being absolutely honest, anyone who struggles with time management or concentration should seriously consider it. I've been seeing so much about Bug and Seek on our Twitter timeline from other creators talking about it, playing it, or it just genuinely looks cute. 
And if you're into cozy or casual vibes, then consider throwing this one on your list as it doesn't get much more relaxing than going out and finding cool bugs for people. Unless you have a fear of bugs, then maybe avoid it. There's the added bonus that it'll even educate you on the creepy crawlies we all very deeply strongly dislike. Jokes aside, I'm all for anything that teaches us a little bit more about nature. If you love Paper Mario styles of RPGs, then Born of Bread is probably already on your list, as it's been a more anticipated release for a few months now. Its turn-based combat makes it a bit more casual than a real-time combat system would be, and the bright colors accompanied by the joyful soundtrack make it a bit more kid-friendly as well. The last game we're featuring today is Hans. Our visual novel lovers will once again be pleased as this one is the tale of an alien who bakes magical pastries to help the residents of a small town during World War I. Despite the dark times, this game boasts bright colors, an intriguing story, and a gorgeous paper art style that fits this genre so well. I'll be keeping our eyes on this one for sure. And with that, We've reached the end of our list. December has been the slowest month for games all year, and we're glad for it because it gives us the chance to enjoy some of the beautiful titles without the fear of being overwhelmed. If you're interested in any of these games, all their information is in the description of the video. Feel free to tell us what you're gonna be adding to your wish list or picking up and playing right away. Don't forget to tell us what you want us to cover and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button before you go too. It's the best free way to support your favorite creators. Oh, and if you want us to do this every month, tell us that too. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.